So uh, at the Carrick and Cameron House, we probably have about 45 first aiders currently. Obviously the hotel is closed just now. We have had up to about 60 before. Um, first aid, quite personal to myself and other golf professionals at the Carrick um, because we obviously have um, our PGA training, which we need to be first aid trained for and obviously due to care to members, guests, visitors on the golf course is very important for first aid um, for training of development of staff in all roles as well as uh, obviously management at the, the resort. Luckily I've never had to use first aid um, to a, a great deal extent with regards to CPR or a, a very serious incident. Uh, quite a lot of slips, trips and falls between uh, spa, leisure facilities on the golf course. Uh, I've had a couple of dislocated bones out on the golf course and a couple of people unfortunately been hit with golf balls so there's been head injuries uh, or lacerations, cuts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we've got um, two defibs on site um, currently. Um, there's one at the Boathouse restaurant and there's one in the um, Claret Jug uh, and Spa area. So it's in the downstairs reception so golf, Claret Jug and Spa would use it. Um, cardiac arrests um, for golfers, uh, what I'm aware is there is, uh, I mean, through obviously the golf industry we do hear stories, uh, there is a lot of steep hills in certain golf courses in the local area. I've heard, heard of a couple of helicopters having to come in to people having cardiac arrests. Uh, stats probably for the elderly gentleman or elderly lady is obviously more common, um, just we obviously suffer to some kind of holes that you can play. Um, but again, the main, the main thing is if anything does arise, we know that we've got people in the right places and the right equipment to obviously look after them if something does happen.